Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper here we're looking at question 4. Magali is studying the mean total cloud cover in octars for Le Charles in 1987 using data from the large data set. The daily mean total cloud cover for all 184 days from the large data set is summarized in the table below. Find so so one of the 184 days is selected at random find the probability that it has a daily mean cloud cover of 6 or greater. So it's 6 or greater out of the total. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to 6 is going to be 52 plus 52 plus, 50 plus 28 over the total, uh, which is going to equal... Uh, so let's do it on the calculator, 52 plus 52 plus 28, that gives us 132 over 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 30 plus that 132 that we added together before, 184, oh, of course 184 days in the data set, yeah, easy, uh, 132 divided by 184 gives us 33 over 46 as a simplified fraction, but what's the decimal answer here? 0 0.717 to three significant figures. So there we are, that's our answer for part A, a nice little cheeky probability question now. Moving on, Magali is investigating, she uses the random variable x to denote the daily mean total cloud cover and believes that x is normally dis so binomially distributed with um, eight trials with a probability of each success being 0 0.76. Using Magali's model, finds the probability of x being greater than or equal to 6. Okay, so now I'm going to do this question by a binomial calculation, so I'll need my calculator for that, but my calculator can actually only work out the probability of a certain amount of successes or fewer, so what I'll do is I'll do 1 minus the probability of 5 or fewer successes, and then that will give me the probability of 6 or more. So I'll go to my calculator, mode 7, I'll uh, go into mode 7, scroll down once, and I'll go into binomial CD mode. So once I'm in binomial CD mode, I'm going to hit the variable button, so hit button number 2. And then I'm going to type in these key variables of 5 successful, so 5 octars or fewer, out of 8, um, with a probability of success of 0 0.76. What this 0 0.76 is kind of referring to is the probability that 1 eighth of the sky will be covered in cloud. And then, and then we're looking for 5 octars or fewer out of the total amount of octaves, which is eight. And then uh, we'll hit enter on that, and it's going to be 0 0.297, uh, but then we need to do one minus this, so I'll store that as my answer as value A on the calculator, and then go back to the normal mode on the calculator and do one minus it, and I get 0 0.703. So there we are, that's our answer for part B. B, I. I'm moving on to part two now. Find to one decimal place the expected number of days in a sample of 184 days with a daily mean total cloud cover of seven. So what we're looking for here is to work out the probability that a day, using Magali's model of binomial distribution, um, that it will be seven octars on that day. So I'm just working out the probability that we'll have seven octars on any one day using the model. So that's going to be a mode seven again on the menu, hit number seven. This is now going to be a binomial PD calculation because it's a, it's an exact outcome that I'm looking for. Hit variable again, and I want seven octars out of eight, with the probability of each octar being 0 0.76, and I get an answer there of 0 0.28. Now that's the probability of having one day on seven octars, but if I want to work out how many days out of 184 will have seven octars, I need to now do a calculation of 184 times 0 0.28, well, that answer as close as we can do it. So I'll store that as B on my calculator, so store and B, and then I'll go back to my main mode on the calculator and do 184 times 0 0.28 or times B, and that will give me 
point seven to one decimal place. Okay, so now that we have um, calculated BI and BII, we can now move on to part C, which is explain whether or not your answer to part B supports the use of Magali's model. Well, if we have a look back um, at our calculations from before, we worked out that the probability of six or more octars was 0 0.7127. Uh, to four decimal places compares well with 0 0.707, that's our answer for part II, and then the amount of days that had seven octars on it was 52, so 52 compares well with 51.7, um, so the model is good. So the model is good. Okay, so there we are. That's our answer to part C. Let's move on to the next set of questions. So there are 28 days that had a daily mean total cloud cover of 8. For these 28 days, so this is this this is all the data for the amount of days that had 8 um, eight octars the day before. So the 28 days, the daily mean total cloud cover for the following day is shown in the table below. So this is the number of octars in all of the 28 days after there was eight octars in the day before. Find the proportion of these days where the daily mean total cloud cover was six or greater. So uh, probability of x being greater than or equal to six, that's going to be five plus 9 plus 9 over the total. The total there was 28, wasn't it? So let's do that on the calculator. 5 plus 9 plus 9 divided by 28. And that gives us an answer of 0 0.82. 0 0.821, which is different from previously. So now that we've worked that out, comment on Magali's model in light of your answer to part D. Well, let's have a look at what it says in the mark scheme. The answer to part D, which is 0 0.821, is greater than part A, which is 0 0.717. This shows that there is a higher chance of cloud cover if the previous day had higher cloud cover. What this, um, what this is getting to is thus independence does not hold, so a binomial model might not be suitable. Because whenever you use a binomial distribution, independence of the different trials is really important. Um, the effect on, on one day's octars, if it's a binomial model, shouldn't have an effect on the next day's octars. But it does look like it does in this day here. It looks like if it's very cloudy the day before on eight octars, that there is a 0.821% so 0.821 probability that it will be six or more the day after, um, which is higher than 0.717, which is the probability of six or more octaves on any given day. So it looks like independence is not held in this model, so therefore a binomial model might not be suitable. But it's certainly very accurate in our calculations on questions B. So there we are, that's our answer for question four there, worth nine marks in total. Let's now move on to question five.